Come and pick them up when you get through with them. I still got all this paperwork to finish. Look, I, uh, gotta go. Yeah. Well, something tells me that, uh, you know all about it. You're damned right I know about it, Kelvin. How dare you do such a thing? How dare I do my job? That's a strange question coming from a lawyer. Or am I, uh, talking to a sister now? You are talking to an attorney, Detective Stoner. An attorney who feels that you are very much out of line. Oh, I see. Do you want to tell me how we came to this, uh, opinion, counselor? You're cute, Calvin. You and I have a quarrel at six minutes, and my minute. brother walked away. Oh, hold the phone! Minute. One minute, please! I did not have a quarrel with anyone at six. Now, I merely came to sit to tell you that your brother was working for a wolf by the name of Eddie Lorimer, a fact which didn't seem to bother you in the least. Of course it bothered me. I know who Eddie Lorimer is. I also know that my brother is not working for him, but he's working for a company that he owns. Oh, really? Then tell me, why did he walk into that place two steps behind Eddie Lorimer carrying a pistol in a shoulder holster, an unlicensed pistol, you I might no add? Right to search him for a weapon. There wasn't no much that choice. Dee Dee, the man practically waved it in my face. I don't believe you. You know what I think? I think that you deliberately harassed Troy because he's my brother. Dee Dee, don't you see the man has been out of jail a week and already he's found carrying a concealed weapon? Is that any right to humiliate him in public? Why did you do it, Calvin? Do you hate me that much? hate you. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's really a good one, Dee. You know, if you meet so much, you know that I love you, Dee Dee. Tell them you love your wife. That's why she's coming home soon, isn't that right? Oh my.